After that movie gets released, when did you start noticing? I mean, obviously outside of the box office numbers that like, wow, we we've got a Christmas classic here. Cause I gotta tell you, within four years, I'm in elementary school and and we're actually watching it like as a class, like around Christmas time. They yeah, like a video tape. Well, that's that's what happened. It came out for the three or four weeks, it did well. MGM made money. Okay. Then it goes into VHS. Mm -hmm. and it sits there and it's vhs vhs okay fine and families and people were finding it you know family over in new york and telling their family in oklahoma or at california or phoenix whatever hey have you seen this no no it's really good you got to go get it go to the video store and go get it mm -hmm. so they're running a blockbuster or local videos whatever and they're and they're getting you know christmas story well it sat there and it's it's what is meant to be that's what I, this is how I explain a lot of things, it's just what's meant to be. Uh, Ted Turner was buying the MGM library for TBS and TNT, you know, for more, you know, content. movies and stuff yep. to show more content. And there were two movies left, they didn't know what to do. And his secretary came over and said, Hey, have you ever seen a Christmas story? Nope. She went home, got her VHS, came back the next day. I got this from somebody very high up at Turner, so I think the story is pretty accurate. Okay. And and Ted Turner and Jane Fonda watched Christmas Story in the office. They went, Oh, what a lovely movie. Okay. So they buy it for 250 grand as part of the package. And uh, what are we gonna do with it? And the secretary said, Well, you know, we did it's a wonderful life for a couple of years. Well, at least, you know, the company will get its money back, make something. All right. So they start the marathon in 96. It does pretty good. Every other movie, the second year dipped and gone. Mm -hmm. Whether it was Wizard of Oz, It's a Wonderful Life, didn't make a difference. Second year, dip gone. Christmas Story goes up. This is, okay, we'll keep going with it. Let's see what happens. Third year goes up. Fourth year, by the sixth year, seventh year, it was in 30 million homes. By the 10th year, it's in 50 million homes. You know, now we're at 25 years and it's a cash cow. I mean, uh, Warner Brothers has said it's the most profitable film in the history of Warner Brothers based on what they paid for it. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's, tw and I mean, you know, people don't understand that that marathon, they're making 15 or $20 million every year just from TBS. Yep. All those commercials. Cause each all time, of, yeah, of course, yeah. you know, it's, it's all of that. And what we get is a smidgen of bupkis of nothing. Sounds uh, like music and, uh, and movies. Yeah. The artist always loses. <laughs> well, it has nothing to do with being a kid. It has nothing to do with when we did it. Nothing like that. When they did the original cable contract with the studios, with the union. However, they figured this out. If you're going to show a movie more than one time in a calendar day on the same station, you only get paid for one showing. Mm -hmm. So when they, they do 24 hours and it's on 12 times, we get paid for two showings. I end up with about $1.60. Awesome. So it's not even enough for the cup of coffee. <laughs> it's not even enough for the cup of coffee. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. You are correct. Wow. Yeah. You know, but uh, listen, uh, it's, what is it? It's the double-edged sword. You know, one side is that side and the other side is a, a marvelous and, and massive fan base of, of people who you put a smile on their face. It's like you're part of their family because you're there. Every yeah. holiday, you're on their television, you know, whether it's, you know, Renee, whoever in New York, or it's Jerry Lawler, my buddy down in, in Memphis, or, you know, Cecil Fielder, who's a friend of mine watching it in Florida, or it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They're watching it, you know, and, and it's a holiday. So they always view kind of as like that cousin that just never stops by. Mm 